welcome to Scotland's first super home. So it's a 1964 council build. It's a very standard suspended wooden floor, cavity walls unfilled, originally single glazed, but the previous owners had put in double glazing. Fairly poor quality, gas boiler with radiators throughout. It was very cold and drafty. We'd be huddled around the gas fire, um, which was blasting out as much as it could and our ankles were still cold. So certainly in terms of uh, our life, the house is much more warm and comfortable. So up here we've got the various solar panels, both types, thermal and PV. The solar thermal provides uh, free hot water uh, for, for much of the year. The PV, we've got just over three kilowatts. We sized it so that it would roughly cover our electricity consumption. The porch is just a draft porch. Also means that we can have a, a triple glazed door that doesn't have a, a slot for the mail, no drafts. So here's our hot water tank and buzzing up in the corner here, we've got the, the wee DC pump that's um, pumping the hot water from the solar thermal and according to the display here I can see it's 49 degrees up on the solar panel, 44 degrees at the top of the tank and 43 degrees down at the bottom. This is the heat battery. So electricity comes in, heat comes out. The mechanical ventilation with heat recovery is basically a box under here. It's drawing in clean air from outside and pumping out the dirty air, pre-warming that uh, clean fresh air coming in uh, with that outgoing hot air. In here, that's the smart meter. We asked for a smart meter deliberately so that we could uh, tap into those different prices for each half hour. So if I can charge the car overnight during those particular half hours, which are very cheap, rather than relying on a sort of, oh well, on average, you know, an off-peak price is this, then we could actually do, do better. Because um, sometimes the price even goes negative and we get paid for consuming energy. So to charge 50% of the car's battery, you know, get an extra 60 miles of range or something and get paid a pound or so to do that, you know, what's not to like? And you've helped support the grid. It enables you to become part of the solution rather than the problem. The main thing to say is just do what you can.